Hi, my name is Riaz and this is a brand new episode of Cine Talkies Film Fridays, your weekly update of news, views, interviews and film recommendations. Remember to subscribe to our channel and you'll never miss a new episode when uploaded. In today's episode, actor Jimmy Shargal booked for breaking COVID protocols, Kangana Ranawat completes 15 years and compares herself to Shah Rukh Khan, John Abrams next to be postponed. The country has been severely impacted by the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. With the number of daily cases approaching 3 lakhs, many states have declared a state of emergency or imposed restrictions on people's movement. Those who break the COVID-19 rules and protocol will face severe consequences. On Tuesday night, Bollywood actor Jami Shergal and 34 crew members were arrested in Ludhiana, Punjab for violating state-imposed lockdown rules while filming the web series You Honor. According to reports, 150 crew members were shooting for the series at Arya Senior Secondary School in Ludhiana at 8 p.m., two hours after the city's curfew was imposed. Punjab has imposed a lockdown from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. to prevent the pandemic from spreading. When the cops arrived, they discovered the squad filming a court scene. Actor Jimmy Shergal is portraying a judge in the series. Kangana Ranawat made her Bollywood debut in the film Gangster, directed by Anurag Basu 15 years ago. Kangana Ranawat has a long list of memorable roles under her belt, including four national awards. Kangana Ranawan tweeted on Wednesday recalling how she carved her path in the film industry and comparing herself to that of Shah Rukh Khan, another success story. Kangana said that Shah Rukh Khan was a privileged newcomer while she was a village girl from Himachal Pradesh who didn't speak English. 15 years ago, Gangster released today. Shah Rukh Khan Ji and I are the biggest success story ever, but Shah Rukh Khan was from Delhi and uh, trained. His parents were interested in films. I didn't know a word of English, had no schooling and was from a small village. Kangana wrote in her tweet, In Mahesh Bhatt's romantic thriller Gangster in 2006, Kangana Ranawat co-starred alongside Imran Hashmi and Shiny Awuja. Kangana Ranawat portrayed a bar dancer who falls in love with a gangster only to become a loner as a result of a personal crisis. Kangana Ranaut is currently awaiting the release of Thalaivi, her much-anticipated biopic on J. Jaya Lalita. Owing to an increase in the coronavirus cases, the film's theatrical release was delayed this month. Sithyam made Jayat 2 and Rathe, Your Most Wanted by, starring John Abram and Salman Khan, was set to clash this Eid. Dao Salman Khan recently revealed that his film would be released in hybrid format, the producers of John Abrams' film are having to reconsider their plans. Director Milab Zaveri, producer Nikhil Advani and T-Series CEO Bushan Kumar have agreed to postpone the film's original May 13 release date. Most states, including Maharashtra, are, cur are currently without cinemas. Even with the ongoing vaccination campaign, the situation in India will take some time to normalize. The filmmakers want to help the theatre industry with their film, so they have not yet reached out to any OTT platforms about the digital release. Nothing matters more than the safety and the well-being of our countrymen and patrons, the filmmaker said, and a joint statement in a response to the current situation. I am excited for the sequel, but I ask that you all please stay away, stay at home and wear a mask if possible. So I guess fans of John Abram will just have to hang in there and wait for the situation to improve. Speaking of John Abram, our film recommendation of the week stars him and we taking a different approach this week by catching up with Bollywood Frenzy's Razine Gutta, a diehard Bollywood fan and a film critic. Welcome to Cine Talkies Film Fridays, Razine. Thank you so much, Riaz. It's great to be here. Certainly great to have you on the podcast uh, and uh, I'm super excited to chat to you about uh, Mumbai Saga. Yeah, it was actually such a good film, you know. I think more than anything, it was so nice having a big masala entertainer on the big screen after so, so long, more than anything else. And now it's streaming as well. What did you like most about the film? 
I think the whole battle between John Abraham who plays Amartya Rao and Imran Hashmi who plays Inspector Vijay Savarkar that whole battle especially in the second half is so intense with an with a climax like no other I mean it's got a bit of predictability but the whole the writing and the music the background music is especially not really the soundtrack but I think from the writing with the dialogues by Sanjay Gupta and Vibhav Vishal being phenomenal the screenplay by Robin Bhatt and Sanjay Gupta as well is quite and it's quite crossing let me say and i think the whole commercial element of the film i mean the fact that it's playing in cinemas up until now over a month after its release locally and it's also streaming on amazon prime video so it's given you it's giving you the opportunity of going to the movies if you can or watching it at home i think it's it's that appeal the whole element of appealing to everyone i think that's what's really nice about this one can i put you in a very unfair situation and ask you If you were to choose between Imran Hashmi and John Abrams performing Suri Singh Happy Edge. Oh wow. Okay. So you see the thing I liked about this movie is I was looking forward to a battle from the onset but they've given John Abraham <clears throat> the the lead role, let's say. They they put him on a spot from the beginning if you want to put it that way. They let him introduce you to the story to how Mumbai was in the 80s and the 90s and the changing phases of Mumbai, you know, the malls and the high rise buildings and John Abraham just you know sets the tone for what the film's going to offer and by the time Imran Hashmi just comes into the film you're already in gross so he just makes it better than it already is so it's impossible to choose you need them both in this film and it's so good that Sanjay Gupta has given them both the opportunity to star in this film why would you recommend this film to people listening to uh, Sunny Talkies Film Fridays More than anything I think it's because we haven't had anything like this in so long. We haven't had the opportunity of going to the movies and watching a loud mass entertainer in over a year. And now we've got the opportunity to go and watch it at the movies or even to just sit at home and enjoy a Friday night. You know what I mean with the family, enjoy the music, enjoy the film, enjoy the vibe and whistle away as much as you want and Mumbai Saga is definitely that for. So there you go the film recommendation of the week a Mumbai saga starring of course John Abram and Imran Hashmi now I'm told you also watch an English movie which you'd really like to recommend to our listeners So yeah as if you're keen to go for an IMAX entertainer then Godzilla vs Kong is definitely something that's worth experiencing in IMAX. I mean it's the first IMAX release of 2021 in the movies and it's just such a good monstrosity of an entertainer I put it that way. I mean it's got everything it's got good acting and it's got phenomenal action and VFX. I mean a lot of the time with these superhero movies or these monster movies you feel that the human characters are going to be underwritten or you know left to look irrelevant but this time that's not the case um it's it's a really really done well done movie from Warner Bros and Legendary so it's currently showing in cinemas and I highly highly recommend watching Godzilla vs Kong what do you like most about it I think definitely the action and the visual special effects the VFX um it's phenomenal the way those two big big monsters go head to head fight punch for punch blow for blow it's really something worth experiencing on the big screen and also the fact that the director gives us a clear winner at the end so Godzilla versus Kong pick your team and get some popcorn and enjoy that one Thank you so much for Zine Gutta for chatting to us so right here on Sunny Talkies Film Friday. We certainly will be catch up very shortly again and uh, ask you for your uh, film recommendation of the week. Thank you so much, Riaz. Cheers for now. Cheers. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Sunny Talkies Film Fridays. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until we meet again, have a fantastic weekend. Bye for now.